Stan, what are we explaining today? A little bit about the MagCast. It's got a small magnetic, actually two magnets in there, and as you rotate the magnets, the uh, magnetic field either grows or lessens. It really doesn't affect the spool until the spool is at speed, and once the inertia is up, it slows the spool down to where the point to the point that you won't get backlashes if you've got it dialed in correctly. So on most of the guys, we tell them set it up at five first. Okay. Depending on wind and all kinds of other things, when you make your cast. slows it down you don't have to worry about a backlash and that was an easy cast but still you could never take your thumb off a reel before with these you can back it off that was at five we'll probably go down to three and just see if there's any difference with a small bait obviously we're throwing iron with this so we set it at five tell the guy set it up at five so you can make a cast take your thumb off it you even throwing it into the wind makes a huge difference. If you're a beginner with the reel stand, you, you want to start at five and kind of work your way start down. Start at five, work your way back down to, the, to a comfort spot that you're used to, to throwing the bait with, lighter bait, like a, a sardine or a, even on the smaller reels, even anchovy or something like that. You can set it down here one or two, and it still has the effect that you need when you make your cast. The guys that are really good at it, they'll, they'll take this off almost all the way back and make the cast uh, without anything on it. It still has an effect. As soon as the reel starts in motion, the spool gets that inertia moving, and the magnet takes effect, and cuts your backlashes down to next to nothing. And you see the guys on these boats where you've got a lot of guys out there, you don't see backlashes on the guys that are using the reels. It's just a really good tool.